I think we're long overdue for a build. Let's do a build. Now this particular build is, is special. It's for one of our forum members, MuscleCar289. Now MuscleCar289 is sort of in a, in a unique situation, so we decided to sort of put together a package for him, talk to him about what he was looking for, talk to him about the different kind of things that he was looking at as far as parts go. He's a student, he, he's uh, majoring in computer science. Uh, in college and so he wanted a system that he could work on that he could play on but also have some other interesting stuff so we sent him a Thekus N5810 to use uh, for network attached storage and to have it sort of as a little uh, box that he could play with as far as installing applications and doing fun stuff over the network but we also decided to do a build for him so this build is based on the BitPhoenix Pandora ATX and it has an ASRock Z170 Extreme 7 Plus motherboard now we put this thing together basically according to what he was looking for but this is uh you know sort of a powerhouse and we did sort of upgrade the uh cpu cooler and the power supply for him thanks to corsair so we've got corsair ram corsair power supply and corsair all-in-one liquid cooler let's take a look at the build so the first thing here is our parts rundown so for our motherboard, as I mentioned, we got the Z170 Extreme 7 Plus from ASRock. Now this is the super alloy, stable and reliable. Um, this is one of the upper end boards from ASRock for the Skylake platform. And this thing is no slouch. So we're, we're using this with an i5-6600K. Overclocking it, of course, is no problem. We're also using the H110i GTX from Corsair for cooling. Now, strictly speaking, this cooler is extreme maximum overkill. The way that we've got it mounted here in the Pandora ATX, we've put the radiator in the top, and then I've turned the uh, the cooler at an angle, which is probably gonna drive, you know, any of you that are OCD, probably gonna drive you guys nuts. But the reason that I did that is to have a little bit better clearance with the USB connection coming out of the bottom. And then, of course, we've got it mounted in our Pandora ATX case here. Now, we are using the Icon display for this particular case. You get the nice BitPhoenix logo by default, but then, of course, you can and, you know, flash other images onto it uh, through the included software, which is pretty neat. And we also decided to bling it out uh, with some LED lighting strips from BitPhoenix. Now, one of the things that I really like about the Z170 Extreme 7 Plus motherboard is that it's got a lot of expandability, not just with the two M.2 slots, but there's also an onboard option uh, for Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or whatever we want to use. Now, in our particular case, we're going to use a combination Wi-Fi Bluetooth module that's PCI Express, so we're just going to mount that. This motherboard gives you plenty of room, even if you're going to run, you know, dual graphics card configuration to have other PCI Express peripherals in the system if you want to. Now, he's already got his own graphics card, so we're just going to ship this to him, and he can install the graphics card, and it shouldn't really be a big deal for him. All right, so check out our power supply. This is the Corsair RM1000i. If you haven't seen our review on this, you should totally check out our review on the Corsair RM1000i. Even if we were running three-way crossfire with this particular motherboard, I think we would be hard-pressed to use the full 1,000 watts from this power supply. But it's going to run cool and quiet, and most of the time the fan doesn't even kick on because we're not above the 400-watt threshold that is required to actually make this fan uh, come on. And so effectively, between the, uh, the power supply, where the fan doesn't even run, and the H110i GTX, uh, which is maximum overkill for the Skylake processor. It really is better suited for an X99 CPU in terms of cooling capacity. But hey, we want this thing to run cool and quiet, and we want this thing for maximum overclockability, so it works out. Now this is a steel construction case, and so the LED light strips from BitPhoenix are magnetic, and so they'll just snap right in here and light up, and we can control them, and it, and it works great. <laughs> we decided, well, probably need something for backups. So enter the Thekus N5810 Pro. Now this thing itself runs Linux, but we put a couple of hard drives in here and set this thing up to be able to back up to the Thekus. The Thekus will actually be able to store all his files, host his media, music, the whole nine yards. So even when he's reinstalling Linux or reinstalling Windows or working on a computer science project or whatever, he can use the media streaming capabilities with the Thekus and reboot his machine or whatever he needs to do. And all of that will be uninterrupted from the Thekus. And it's basically his home server is this Thekus NAS. Now, of course, we, we might have upgraded the RAM, so, you know, he can do a little bit more with it in terms of running extra virtual machines and, and other stuff, which is which is really cool. But, you know, out of the box, the Thekus has got plenty of RAM to do most things that normal people would want to do. It's just that computer science people generally uh, want to push it up to 11. So there's that. So by the time you're watching this, MuscleCar289 has had this system for several weeks. Let's check in with him. You want to say hi to everybody? Hello, how's it going, audience? So how's that working out? Are you rocking out with that machine? Yeah, I am. 
<laughs> yeah, it's working really well. Now, remind me what we did for the storage and setup. Uh, I think the way it worked out was you, you sent us some parts, and we put an A-Data uh, SX900 in there, and I think that there was also a mechanical hard drive with Linux. or No, it was a hybrid drive with Linux, and you know, how's all that working out? Everything worked out well. And so you've got Linux and Windows, is that right? Yeah, yeah, I got it on the separate drives, yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Windows 10 like, no, I must take over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. I booted into Linux and I'm getting this. It's like, oh, your Windows 10 upgrade is ready. And it's like, wait, what? I, yeah. I, I'm in Linux. What? How is yeah. it doing this? <laughs> yeah. Now, I understand you've messed with the overclocking. What did you get the overclocking up to? Because mine was pretty modest. Uh, I think right now I'm running like 4.6. Uh, what kind of temperature? Uh, like 28C or something. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty low. <laughs> yeah, that Corsair uh, all-in-one cooler is uh, really, really overkill for Skylake. I mean, Skylake doesn't get that hot to begin with, and then that, that all-in-one cooler really just... <laughs> Skylake yeah. can't get hot enough for that cooler. When I go to the Corsair link, it like the fans aren't even on. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Yeah. How is the BitPhoenix Pandora ATX working out? Is that Have you been able to work on the machine? You got plenty of legroom? Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of space and everything. I kind of been having some trouble with the power button, but <laughs> the power button sticks sometimes. Yeah, you just have to tap it. You can't like it's got yeah. it's the plunger will move down like three inches. It's you just got to tap it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I really like the way the case looks. I mean, it, it's really nice looking. <laughs> All right. So in addition to the build, uh, you also picked up a Thekus NAS, or we sent you a Thekus NAS. It's the one running Linux. It's the uh, N5810 Pro with the built-in UPS. Now, if you didn't see the review on that, you should totally go check out the review. But that's so you can run Plex Media Server, and you know you've basically got, got a little Linux box there. We, we might have upgraded the RAM, uh, you know. Yeah. And uh, so, how's that been working out? And it's been up and running for three three weeks, and it's it's like crazy how reliable it is <laughs> and it's it's whisper quiet quiet i mean it turns out having a home server is the most amazing thing ever yes it is i've been just doing all my homework off that <laughs> <laughs> well have you loaded it down with tvs and tv and movie and music and all that no i'm not, I'm not really sure what to do with all that storage yet <laughs> I've gotta go. i haven't been storing many movies and stuff on the laptop so how many uh how many terabytes did you end up putting in it i uh, put two four terabyte HGST drives or two for it. So that's in a uh, raid one, I think. Or yeah, raid one. Yeah. So you've got three bays to, uh, to expand into you, you'll, 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 you'll grow into it. I think it'll yeah. be fine. My favorite thing about the, uh, N5810 pro is that it's got a built in battery backup. So if you have a power outage or whatever, it'll just shut itself down. And, uh, how's the, how's the power where you live? You know, is there any danger of the power going out and then the thing has to shut itself down? Yeah. I think that's probably <laughs> happened like twice and it's, I didn't even notice when I came back in here. So excellent excellent yeah the built-in battery is a is a really nice touch on that especially with linux and md it means you don't have to resync the the drives when it comes back up otherwise it'll be slow for you know because uh, it'll go through and resync your your raid array so that it's consistent it was a lot of fun to uh put the build together and uh you know we would be glad to do it again we're glad to have you as a fan uh yeah. what's the uh <laughs> what's the youtube channel that the people that know what they're doing and they're you know not completely terrible Thanks, syndicate yeah <laughs> Well, uh, you know, we'd like to say thanks again to uh, Corsair, uh, Azrock, and BitPhoenix for helping us, uh, you know, with some of the parts for this build. That was really awesome. And yes, uh, it was. <laughs> I hope you get uh, many, many years of enjoyment out of your machine. Yeah, I hope I do too. I think I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Wendell, and we will see you on the forums. <laughs>